Good morning, gentlemen. This is a sick tool that I've been seeing and using called Beeple.ai. Beeple? No, that's the artist. Beeple. Beeple.ai. Beeple. Who knows, bro? It's all the same stuff. Uh, and essentially, it's a platform that creates VFX passes from videos, Whoa. which is pretty freaking sick, dude. So essentially, uh, I'll scroll down here. This is actually, you know what? This is a real fun website. So it takes the video frame and creates these different passes. And all of these different passes are used in 3D rendering software to get texture, to get depth, to get uh, glossiness, to get the even um, how even how your skin absorbs light, which is pretty sick. And then it can be relit, yeah. which is sick. There you go. That's a bit, I don't know why I didn't just show you that. So it is pretty unreal. Now, I've done some testing. It's not this good, but it is Aww. on its way. It is on its way. What? I'll, the I'll marketing doesn't live up to the product? I'll show you. What are you talking about? What I will say is now's the time to mess with it because they're just testing it for free, which is sick. So, mm. um, But yeah, just I get so amped on this because I just think it's such a good, such a cool use of AI. You're not completely replacing someone. You're not generating someone from scratch. You're just creating more tools, which I like. Mm. Um there you go. So well, like this enables creativity more than anything else. Because if you imagine these like creators who don't have access to film studios, yes, what they can make when they can sit in a room and put themselves on a spaceship, what they sit in a room and put themselves on the African savanna, like what what stories can you tell with those tools that just gets bigger and bigger and bigger? Yep, hundred percent. And I did do a few tests. Just absolutely slay myself. Oh, oh there's was... Ken. <laughs> oh, here we go. Damn it, dude. I was going to keep it for the end, but I'll show you it now. So I was messing around. With... We've had this kind of internal joke. because so I was like, it'd be so much easier if we just had an AI version of Ken for all these thumbnails. But how actually yeah. sick. How is the light behind how the, um, actually sick the mic arm? Yes. Look at this. So it actually. Oh, dude, that's it's cool. Actually- oh, so there's like a really thin 3D okay. space. Yes, sir. That and you so can go. You just move it all the way around. Oh. What? How sick is dude, that? Dude, Other is than so Ken's handy. eyes, I feel like it actually did well to keep detail. Ken, yeah. I don't know why your eyes are like real odd looking. I don't know why. <laughs> oh, and also. AI thinks the same. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. But it's so sick. I mean, man, just to be able to change the vibe of the whole thing. And that's then crazy. And then like, man. What do you mean it's not as good? I think it's as good. In the bar. Yeah, I mean, oh, I, I can't think it's, see anything. I think it's, what do you mean? That's just a screen grab of a video, right? Yes. Yeah, so that's what yeah. I'm going to start testing it. It's like, okay, with the higher quality. Chuck a video. full 8K vid in there, see how much, uh, sorry, photo in there, see yeah, how much detail it see gets. See what it does. Specular <laughs> skin pores. Yeah. Man. Do the lot. Oh, Beeple. That's a guy. I keep me, making mate. this mistake. Beeple. What are you up to, mate? You know we've got a show to show to perform for here? I know. I'm trying to keep it up. What I wanted to show you was the video version, which was sick. So I just put a four-second clip in of me, and then you can generate a background, and it just relights the whole thing based on oh, that. Gosh. And this is where it falls apart a tiny bit, but I don't mind because if you were to put it into a 3D software like Blender, it actually holds it pretty well. Essentially, you can import, and these are just kind of average looking background generations. You can import yeah. really high quality ones for that people are using, essentially called HDRIs. So you go out and shoot a 360 uh, image of a space and you can just put that person in that space, which is pretty sick, dude. Um, I'm pretty stoked. I just think it's fun that it's being used in this way. And if we can see the quality step up a tiny bit, I'd be pretty. You know what's sad? I'm, I just always get sad that I'm too dumb to do any of this stuff. What do, what do you mean? These, like, I, you don't, I, I laugh about it always in Twitter. It's like people talk, Whoa. it's, oh, that you looked fully robot then. There was some angle there. Yeah, it's doing it's some funky eyes. stuff to you. Yeah, face. it's the eyes. It's the eyes. They're too big. It's got, like, but it's made them bigger. I just can't get, look at the depth that you the can see in the hands. The lighting is just mental. Look at that. Like, that is you don't need to buy lights anymore. Yeah. Just film iPhone and then hey, Do you guys want to see all the, the lighting of it real quick? Because that's what's super interesting. So there's obviously the main pass. You've got your alpha pass. The base color pass is super interesting. So it's each frame generating an AI and you can see it tripping. But essentially, uh, it's generating what it thinks is like no lights <laughs> and then it does all of the specular highlights which is cool roughness depth is it worse if you light yourself really well even or it doesn't matter i i actually think it doesn't matter obviously the more see if i had a blue light i'm adding and i think i did didn't i on the source yeah so i've actually it's, i've actually given it some pretty hard kind mm. of data to work with because i've already got pre-existing light if i just did really clean 
or outside, that would have been really interesting. Mm. On a, wa- this, put on a green screen, it'd be yeah, killing it's it. It's taken the blue out of your face. Yeah. yeah. I didn't notice that before. Yeah. Which is nuts. But that's, I think that's why we're getting some of this edge fringing here because it's working pretty trying hard. Trying to figure it out. I reckon, yeah, yeah if, you, if you chucked a green screen on there and just even light, this thing would just hum. And that's probably, that's exactly this what they do with the girl, those, right? This those Minecraft videos way better, Zach. <laughs> Son of a biscuit. You could be in Minecraft. Okay. Yeah, yeah, legit, dude. But I'm even just impressed. Like, it's pretty decent real-time cutting, you know? And like you said, add a green screen. I think it's just going to make it even better. So the eyes are just like, the one's eyes looking are here, getting... one's looking there. Yeah, it's creepy ass. Uh, but yeah, boys, so I just thought it was super interesting. I just think the fact that we, a month ago, were like, wouldn't it be just so dope to have a tool to relight and now it's at this level? And yeah, in in a web app, it's us. pretty sick. Like you don't have to export this to Blender. It just is actually there's a workflow pipeline here that could be really dope for doing thumbnails, that kind of stuff. This is sick. Like edge. This is what? sick. Very cool. It's like the joke I was gonna say earlier was in on tw- Twitter. Kits always does it. Is like he shows the Unreal Engine demos, like the guy, the newest ones where the dudes are walking through and like the whole environment's crumbling behind them, like, you know, like that. And then they walk and then it all puts it together. And it's like, hey guys, look, we can now align something left in CSS or the new version of React can, re- it's just like, we're, we're playing with baby toys over here and the, and the big boys are doing it's the actual cool stuff. stuff um, very, very impressive. 